Alright, what is going on everyone and welcome back to Bloodborne. My name is John and this is going to be a special episode where I, <coughs> excuse me, go through the Cadenhurst Castle. Now it's going to be my first time doing it, but before we do that, we have to get the summoning thing to actually get there. And I know how to do it, so it should be okay. Um, these levels are fairly low, so getting to the castle is not a big deal. But once we're in there, that's when the struggle begins. So, if you don't know how to do it, first you're going to want to go to the Forbidden Woods. And then you're going to have to go down that cave that we passed by a long time ago. And you're going to run through there. And <clears throat> I'll explain more as we get to it. Sometimes I really wish my mic had a mute button. So you don't hear me coughing all the time. I do try to edit that out occasionally. Alright, so what you're going to want to do is just go through here as you would normally. 420. Don't step on that thing. Alright, so we're going to make sure you have your antidotes out just for a little bit later. Oh my god. I do 800 damage. Oh my god. Alright, do you see that yellow, uh, the yellow path? The flowers? You're gonna want to run through there. And where that leads you is to a cave. I believe. I'm not exactly sure where. I know where it is, though. There's something behind me. If I'm correct, there's a cave around here. I don't know if I passed it already. Nope. <clears throat> this place still gives you a lot of souls. Ow, what the fuck? That actually hurts. So you're going to want to pass through the doggies and go down this cave. So what this cave leads to is two places. Um, one, you're going to get put into a lake. This lake is all poisonous. And be sure this is why you want your antidotes out. Now you're going to want to run past a couple of these things. I think I could take them, honestly. But I mean, just to run past them. Oh my god. where I, like, straight up just lost where I was going. Okay, over here, over here. Don't get poisoned too much, because this ladder literally takes, like, a long time to get up. So, make sure you're not completely poisoned. If you are, try to use an antidote before you take this ladder. And then, where it will lead you is to a top, to the second part of... I'm not sure if it's even the Forbidden Woods. <clears throat> but you'll see it's like it doesn't end there's another ladder let's make sure I didn't miss anything So what this leads to is like a shortcut of some sort. I'm not sure where this actually is, so... Hold on, let me explore a little bit. I think this leads to... Okay, so remember where we started the game? This is where you run out. There should be, if I'm correct, a werewolf inside that we died to. Nope, can't get there. 
So I do know where I am right now. Central Yarmin. It's kind of cool how it all connects. And what we're going to want to do is go down. If I miss. That's the thing that sucks your blood. It's, it's really not nice. Ugh. Madman's knowledge. Alright, so we got all the items so far. I wonder if we can actually get back into uh, the place where we started the game. Pretty sure you can, but it's just like not through here. Oh, hello. They don't give too much experience, but that's okay. Where the fuck am I? I'm pretty sure this is the right spot to go to. Kill this thing. <clears throat> oh, I'm maxed out on the blood vials. Alright, so we got the cane her summons. That's pretty much what we came here for. And... But does this actually lead us? Is this where we started the game? Is that a lamp too? Oh yeah, it is where we started the game. Werewolf? Pretty sure I missed some items, because I didn't even... I don't think I... Oh yeah, I did. Just kidding. I got them like five minutes ago. <clears throat> Alright, so we got a lantern over there. We're just going to take it back. Uh, we got what we needed. So that's excellent. Now, the second place we're going to have to go is to the Hemwick Zone. Now, the reason why we're going back there is because that is the place where we have to travel. Which is a boat. I think this is actually faster taking the witch's abode, just running past like we should only have like six enemies chasing us. <laughs> That's pretty bad, but I mean six compared to like twenty. So a lot of people have been asking me, do you enjoy this game and is it worth picking up? And I'm really enjoying this game. If you're ever into like Dark Souls and all this stuff, like Lord of the Fallen, I would say this is pretty fun. Definitely worth taking a look at. <clears throat> did I come out of this way? Yeah, I did. So I do have Lords of the Fallen. I do plan on starting Dark Souls. Shot these. Ow. How did you charge me? Wreck. Always good to have blood balls. By the way, there's one thing that um, is happening right now as I'm recording. I can't log in. I think everyone is having server issues and literally everyone is playing offline right now. That's kind of depressing. Whoa, why are there five of them? Oh wait, those are just gravestones. I thought there's actually five. Alright, so you're going to want to go here and it should automatically teleport you there. And once you get there, you get like a silver trophy. That's pretty cool.
Quite the carriage! Oh god, I was gonna get hit. Okay, we're good. Whew. Made it, boys. By the way, if you haven't followed me on Twitch already, feel free to do so. I do plan on streaming more often so you guys can interact with me live, and that would be pretty cool. Love to see you. Check it out. Everything's in the description. That's why you, you can just find it there. Twitch link. So once you get there, it's going to be like a snowy Canehurst area. It's a huge castle. It's pretty cool, actually. And then it's like, free trophy. Take it. So this place is completely optional, it's not even story based, but the fact that I found it is good. So as always, on our first attempt we're going to kill everything and then if we die we're going to just run past it. Sweet. Alrighty, we're going in. I'm pretty sure there's a lantern somewhere. For some reason, these are hard to see in the snow. Alright, so any missable items around here? Yes, there's one. Numbing mist. I feel like. Oh shit! Hello! Oh my god. He kinda just like came up behind me and scared me. I feel like there would be items behind here. If I were a developer, I would hide items. See how it is. Okay, so this is probably from the top, and then you there's just a shortcut. That's fine. Uh, if we could avoid them, that would be excellent. Alright, hey buddies. No, come back. Oh. Yeah, I think I'll be fine in this area. Now, this is optional. You could have done this like so, like a really long time ago, but I just never did it for some reason. Kind of wanted to progress through the story. You know, I'm missed. That's good. So, I think I'm a little over leveled for this area but uh, from what I've seen the boss is actually hard and uh, people have had troubles with it even at high levels ow what the hell I thought the health core was dead oh alright two hits to go All crying. I don't understand. What's wrong? They just summon out of nowhere. That's the creepy part too. Like I'm Okay, so one thing I discovered in this game is if you're opening a chest, you while you're opening it, you are invincible. 
so you can, I guess, use that to um, your advantage and invincibility frames. That stagger is beautiful. So where does this go? Alright, so for the most part, I can one-shot them, or one-two hit. Oh no. Oh! I think gravity killed her. Rip. Bloodstone chunk, that is always good. Excellent. We're making progress. Kill you like woman logic. Oh. Headset Pro Boys. Might as well just top it off. Oh, that hurts. You'll be okay. Uh, I saw the chest, don't worry. I just have to clear the area so no one sneaks up on me. Going good. good clearing this place actually wasn't that hard it just gave you a lot of souls noble dress alrighty sad thing about playing offline is I can't read other people's notes and the other way around as well um, what's over here? Ow. Alright. Don't you just hate it when that happens? It literally takes out 10 seconds of my recording. And your life. So they can eat you. Why don't they just make it a quick animation and then, like, take out the whole health bar like it would normally do? Let's say it takes 20% normally. Just take out 20% of my health and then let me go on my way. Oh yeah, one thing. I saw this online. Do not jump. That is death. What's up here? I don't know. Ooh, an item. Bloodstone chunk. So they're always good. 